Hello everyone, welcome to episode 100. 100, this is awesome. It's my longest series yet, obviously. And it is, it's hit triple three digits for the episode number. I have to change my thumbnail because the font can't fit three digits. I, at least unless I end up changing the thumbnail someday. But my current thumbnail design can't fit this. It's awesome. Alright, so you guys will see a new thumbnail layout-ish. It should basically be the same. But, it, it's pretty cool, right? We hit 100. If you guys have seriously watched all 100 episodes, including this one, thank you so much. You have been a huge supporter of my channel. You are awesome, and I love you. Mwah. Okay, that might have been a little creepy, but you know what? Who cares? We're at episode 100. We can do whatever the heck we want. And what we want to do, of course, is make money and actually get it. We don't want to just earn money and then never get to do anything with it, right? Well, that's what we're doing today. We're going to make, for a tycoon, a, a cash to collect step. Something so that you can actually collect the money that you are earning. Alright? So, first step in making this step step like step onto it and step like step Dumbass. uh... the first step is of course to build it so we're just gonna make this thing about uh, the right size that looks about right it really uh, there's no science to it necessarily uh... just do whatever you want now this is not going to be purchased these things are typically just they're necessary to the tycoon and you don't buy it, typically. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but I've never seen a tycoon that made you do that. Um, now, you guys notice I made a square, which is 6x6, six six, which is actually the very typical size for these. And then, and actually, no. Eh. Yeah, we'll stay 6x6. Six six. And then another small brick, which is 6x1. Of course, the height is 1.2 by both. I I'm not counting the height in this six by one and this is going to be called head this is what's going to say cash to collect however much money you have to collect and this this brick is going to be what you actually step on to collect it so let's name this smaller brick head and we don't have to name the other one anything special we'll just control click and then hit control G once we've selected both there we go and we will name this model cash to collect like this, cash to collect zero, because you start out, there's nothing to collect. And then we're just going to go to the claim tycoon, copy the humanoid, and paste it. Because again, there's no real point in wasting time when you can just copy and paste. So there's our cash to collect, but right now it's not going to do anything special. We have to insert a script. But before we do that, just for the point of having to look up the parents, let's move into the tycoon. Again, you're not going to be buying this, so putting in the, putting it in to the tycoon will work just fine. So let's insert a script into here, and this script is going to start out with. It's basically just going to have two handlers for two different events on two different objects. One will be actually stepping on part, and that gives you the money. The other will be every time money to collect changes its value so that it can update its name. So we're going to do the changing its value, the n updated name first. So script dot parent dot parent. If we look over here at the explorer, it's script dot parent dot parent dot money to collect. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Script dot parent dot parent dot money to collect dot changed connect function. And we don't really care how it changed. Uh, we just want to make sure every time it changes, we update. So script dot parent, which is cash to collect, uh, the actual model dot name equals cash to collect, and then concatenate script dot parent dot parent dot money to collect dot value, and that's just going to add in the amount of money, and that's all we need to do there. So what we're doing is we're Every time the money to collect is changing, we're connecting a handler to that event, 
and that handler is changing the name of the model, which remember, the humanoid displays the name of the model over the head, okay? So it's displaying the name of the model, and we're changing the name of the model to cash to collect, colon, space, however much money there is in the bank, you could say, that you have not collected and put in your wallet yet. So that's what we're doing. Alright. Um, oh, I did not mean to close that. And then the second event handler is script.parent.part, which is the script is here, dot parent is this, and then dot part. And then whenever that's touched, connect function, and we actually need hit, I'm sorry, hit right there as a parameter of the function. And then, of course, our typical thing, except there's going to be a third thing thrown into here, sort of. Uh, char equals hit that parent if char find first child humanoid and game that players get player from ah from character char and actually we need that to be capitalized just because that's what I've done throughout most of the series I think so I'll keep it the same it really didn't matter uh, then and of course we'll just copy this because I don't feel like typing it out then player equals game that players get player from character char and then if player that name equals script that parent remember we're in the cache to collect that parent that's the tycoon that owner name that value then player that leader stats that money, that value equals, and we'll just copy this. No, nah, actually, we won't. Player that leader stats the current value of money. That money, that value. The current. We're setting the current value of the money to the, or we're setting the value of the money to the current value, plus script that parent that parent that money to collect that value. All right. And then we're doing script dot parent dot parent dot money to collect that value equals zero because we don't want people just com always collecting it and never actually losing that money in the bank when they get put it into their wallet. We want them to actually lose that money there because otherwise they just have an endless flow of income that they can just keep jumping on the brick and become rich no matter how many droppers they have. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to test it by pressing F7 and yes this is episode 100 I I can't believe it 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 boggles my mind as my nose itches right at the tip that's that's not normal <laughs> maybe I'm allergic to 100 who knows alright now we're going to press alt F7 as we don't have an error in the output I'm not gonna slide you guys down there though cuz uh, it's not really necessary just take my word for it we're going to keep sliding around here in server.rx. All right, it looks like it's almost loaded. There we go. Take the tycoon. All right, now we don't have enough money to buy this wall, right? And cash to collect has zero in it, right? Okay, that's everything. Everything's working correctly. All right, now I'm going to walk and I'm going to touch this dropper, but I want you guys to watch cash to collect. All right, I've bought it. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so at our rate, it's going to take 50 seconds for us to be able to buy that wall. Well, that's why we can tinker with the value of these bricks every time they hit the catch or disappear. And that's what we're going to work on in just a couple seconds. But first, we just want to see if it works. And we're going to do that once it hits 50, so we can also just, you know, double check that wall, double check the pricing. Because we haven't bought anything that wasn't free yet. So, you might, you want to try and check and test everything you can until you are 180 percent certain that it works because there's always going to be that one time that one time that you test it and then the other times it's not going to work all right it's almost there it's almost there OCDers be happy we got it spot on and now we're going to buy boom everything worked it reset the value we got the money we spent the money it worked everything is awesome here all right Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to, to subscribe. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. 
we're going to tinker the values of our dropper here. Let's go down here to dropper, script, remove brick, and let's actually add a value into this remove bricks. And we're going to add an int value. And this int value is going to be just called um, worth. Just like that. And then we're going to go in here. And instead of adding all of this, we're going to add, or instead of adding just one, we're going to add script.worth.value. All right? And now we can just easily tinker with the value of the bricks by changing worth. We can change it to 5. Now we only have to wait 10 seconds. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to keep it going at just once a second, dropping it. So now it would take 10 seconds to be able to buy the wall. All right, thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button. Corresponding to how you felt about this video, and I will catch you guys later.